Yeah, so Spies and Soldiers is a turn-based strategy game um, where you're trying to put your claimant on the throne. Uh, it's inspired by board games, so you're trying to get five castles to win. Yep. It's procedurally generated art and maps, so every time you play, it's a completely different map. So the challenge, we found that the, the true test of your skill is like how quickly you can identify on this map what the key strategic areas are. Uh, it pretty much does what it says on the box, so you have spies and you have soldiers. Your soldiers you use to take control of territory and seize the castles, and then the spies are what you use to uh, infiltrate the cities and get more action points and build up your economy. Um, I would say that the Game of Thrones board game was like a big touchstone for us, uh, in that we use simultaneous movement, so you're putting in your orders at the same time, so a lot of the gameplay is like second guessing and bluffing and anticipating your opponent, and so that was definitely like a pretty big inspiration. Um, and then, yeah, I think just like classic fantasy novels where you open it and there's like a cool map at the start and you look and you're like, you're looking at this cool map going, wow, what's this story going to be about? That's a big inspiration for our procedural map generation is just kind of going, you want to have that sort of evocative sense from it where all of the little place names and things will give you hints at like maybe a story that you can imagine.